I want my husband to fall in love with my sister. I 30f met my husband, 34m, when we were kids. We used to live in the same street and our parents were very close. Me, my sister, him and his sister never spent a minute without each other from when I was 4 until I was 11. We were still close after, but my now husband and his family moved a few blocks away. And we were entering puberty, so he babysat me and his sis. But my sister is the same age as him, so they still hang out. Everyone at that time believed they were going to get married, but they never even got together. My sister did confess to having a crush on him when they were 12 but that's about it. Fast forward a few years, me and him reconnect after he moved away. At this point I was 20 and he was 24, just finished his studies abroad. We fell in love and hit it off. We married, had our son in January 2020 and a baby girl in August of 2022. After my daughter's birth was diagnosed with cancer, it's terminal and I only have a few months left, I do not want to go into detail me and my husband are both very outgoing, social and kind of childish maybe, lol don't mind the user, but lately all I can do is cry and lay in my bed. I am exhausted and only reason I don't apply for euthanasia is because of my children. I know he will have no trouble finding beautiful, caring partner in the future but I still am scared. I know my sister had always taken a liking to him, and he likes her. Their feelings just never bloomed because of our relationship. But I can feel they're there sometimes. And recently they had a lot of one-on-one time planning stuff because I am too tired. My kids find great support in her, and my husband too. I love them both and I think that if he had connected with her first after moving back, they would have been together now. I am in no way jealous or delusional, I know the feelings will come and the sooner the better. Update 1. First of all, thank you all for your kind words and advice. It seems to be unanimous, I'm writing letters. And for all of you saying I'm a troll or asking more details, I've already told you all that I am not comfortable with sharing those details, I know I'm in my final moments and I do not feel the need to validate myself for some strangers. Also FCKU if you think I am lying TBH. I talked to my parents today, I told them how I think they will make a great couple and how I trust my parents to take care of all of them. Not to exclude my husband when I pass. They reassured me he will always be welcome and have thought the same in the past. My sister has even expressed feelings for my husband not too long ago, telling them she won't make a move but it needed to be said. The result of our talk was a lot of crying and me promising them to give them letters to hand out after my passing. Few months after of course, I saw my sister shortly, she didn't understand why I cried but we hugged for 15 minutes straight and I told her I want my husband to be happy with whoever is good for him after my passing. Then we cried together and she brought me home. Comments. I'm sorry. People get all kinds of mixed up, worrying about what they should do. You might want to make sure they know how you feel so they don't have to second guess themselves. Maybe tell them towards the end, but also in writing, just in case. I worked with a man in the 80s whose brother had died leaving behind a wife and young children. This man married his late brother's wife. At the time I thought this was really out there, but I understand now. I want them to be able to love and be loved, and my kids in a happy home. If it doesn't happen, it doesn't. But I have a strong feeling that it's meant to be. I jokingly told my husband about it and he went quiet but smiled. I'm soon going to talk to my parents and sister after. Maybe set up some kind of date or get together to Rees Park a time they remember together. If that doesn't spark something then let it go. But it's very sweet you want to take care of your husband and make sure he's set before you pass. I also totally get the euthanasia thing. If I were in your shoes I'd have the same mindset. I like the idea of a date a lot. It gives them maybe some alone time but fun, no worries and a nice dinner. I might just surprise them because they've done a lot for me and deserve some free time too, especially hubby. I am selfish. I have never loved anyone so much to be able to do this. I've always thought when I die I just want to die old with my partner so they'll never find another. If I die young it'll be the last thing I think about. You're awesome for being able to do that. Don't call yourself selfish. I used to say if I die first and you find a new love, I will haunt the shit out of you both and stuff like that. I guess it comes with the overwhelming truth, you can't withhold you so from a new love. And if you're going to die, you soon realize you love your person SM that it would kill you, oops, to see them unhappy and lonely. Yes. But. I just. When I think about dying, and then my partner one day, no matter how soon, happening upon another woman, another woman's naked body, another to woman's inner thoughts, personality, way of life, the pain feels unbearable. It feels like I would never be able to accept that. I promise you this is so normal. And I know my situation isn't. I've talked with Maya and the hospital's therapist and both were kind of surprised, as is 80% of the commenters. Don't feel selfish for it, I used to want him all for myself too.
and it would be normal that if you get into my situation you wouldn't want your partners to just move on. I guess I'm just in a state in which I found not just peace but also a bit of rest in my state. My uncle got terminal cancer, and his wish was that her wife would consider his younger brother after he passed away. His reasoning was that his brother already had a good relationship with the kids, and he wanted them to have a father figure that he trusted. He communicated his wish to both of them, and one year after he passed away, they got married and have been married for almost 30 years now. This and the fact I felt the tension and love between them. It's more than a brother-sister love but less than a romantic partner, a perfect love story would have been if I wouldn't be here. I can feel their emotions piercing trough me sometimes. It kills me to think about them not being able to be together if the time is right. I feel like an outsider sometimes. Trying to see what others see, and I see a right person wrong timing here. Update 2. So, these past weeks were exhausting and exciting at the same time. Starting off with some bad news today. My health has hit a low, which hurts and is scary but I knew it was coming. I don't know how long I have left, but it won't be too long. Like I said, I'm at peace with that knowledge and I don't want you guys to overwhelm me with concern. I love your sympathy and support, but on the concern part I'm heavy. I know I will die and it will be fine. Life goes on, at least for you guys lol as for my parents, when I spoke with them they confirmed my exact thoughts, my sister and husband's love just hadn't had the chance to bloom yet. They found your idea of the letters incredibly beautiful but told me to also talk to my husband's parents. So I did. I made the long drive and told my husband I was paying my niece a visit. His parents broke down crying, telling me they admired me for my selflessness. We talked a lot about how it used to be when we were younger, came to the conclusion they will always support husband's choices and would love to get to know my sister better slash again, they kind of lost contact a few years ago when husband's parents moved away. I sat my sister down too, telling her I'd like her to help my husband grieve, her and my parents of course, and help him move on after, no matter with who. She hugged me, told me of course and we discussed some things about the kids. I joked about them getting together to play mom and dad, she smiled. I think she's seeing right through me, like she always has. And last but not least, my husband, I haven't told him anything. I did cook them both dinner, to my best abilities, just one course and store-bought desert lamau, and made them enjoy it on their own while I was busy with the kids. It wasn't awkward, it was best friendish but sweet. I wrote the letters, my parents and husband's sibling know where they are and will hold on to them. One for my kids, along with some videos, my husband knows about those, one for my husband right after I pass, and one for sis and hubby a few months after my passing. I hope this is an update y'all like, trying to end it on a positive note. Thanks for all the love and support. Top comment. Comment 1. I hated reading this post, because as life affirming as it is, it is so, totally heartbreaking. I can't imagine the pain of being anyone in this situation. Comment 2. In my reality Oop made a miraculous recovery and she's still with her husband and they're both living happily ever after.